Turning our attention to the NBA now, DraftKings contributors Kenny Ducey and Matt LaMarca alongside RotoWire's Nick Whalen are here for NBA price checks. Who's your favorite player at these salary ranges on tonight's six-game NBA slate? So, Matt, in the AK-plus range, we got like Doncic, Embiid, Vooch, Giannis. A lot of questionable guys here, though. So where are you going? Yeah, this is a weird slate. Um, we, we have a lot of injuries, obviously, but also just not a lot of good matchups. Uh, You know, there are only two teams right now who are implied for more than 112.5 points, which isn't even that high of a total. Like it's just uh, it's expected to be a pretty uh, low scoring slate from a just raw scoring uh, perspective. So I'm going to go with Zion. He's he's been very consistent for us recently, um, delivering, you know, a lot of points. Rebounds and assists are are okay with him, but it's really the scoring that he's been giving us. Uh, the Magic are a pretty good matchup. Zion's averaged 1.45 <laughs> DraftKings points per minute over the past month, so I think he is the best bet in this in this paying up range at the moment. You know, things could change depending on who's ruled in or ruled out, um, but right now Zion is kind of the guy I'm leaning towards. Nick, where are you leaning? I mean, I hate to echo what Matt said, but we've been we've been all over uh, Zion Williamson on the show of late, and it's another great matchup for the Pelicans against Orlando. I mean, worst defense in the league over the last ten games, third worst total rebound percentage over the last ten games. So even if if Zion does have an off night from a scoring perspective, you'd think he'd have a good chance uh, to supplement that DraftKings point total with some boards. He's twenty seven of forty two from the field over his last two games alone. He's gotten to the free throw line nineteen times in that stretch. So it's really hard to shy away from Zion, uh, especially at this price. There's the case to be made right now for Luka Doncic. He's at 11,000. I mean, if if you're willing to pay up, he has 60 plus DK points in three straight games. Mavs are on a back-to-back playing against the Lakers team that has been pretty good on defense. Sounds like they're going to get Anthony Davis back at least for limited minutes tonight. Um, But, but like Matt said, I mean, there's, there's so many questionable tags for these elite guys right now. You know, we'll see if, if Giannis plays, we'll see if Embiid plays, on the second night of a back-to-back, Tatum's questionable, Brown's doubtful. Um, so, you know, we're, we're, I think we're going to learn more throughout the day uh, before we lock in anything. Yeah, Kenny, a lot of questionable guys in this 8, 8K-plus range. Where are you going? Yeah, I, I hate to agree with Matt because I love disagreeing with him, but he is right about Zion Williamson at $9,900. Look, it, it really is difficult. A lot of these price ranges, frankly, the next one we're going to hit on as well is pretty difficult, but – Zion Williamson, his usage rate has been insane over the last 11 games. He's been over 31% used in eight of the last 11 back-to-back 33 and 34-point games now. And Orlando's dead last with the I don't know, the, the dead last in defensive rating over the last 10 games, allowing 120, uh, almost 121 points per 100 possessions. So I won't set, spend too much more time on it since we've touched on Zion a bunch, but I think he's a very, very strong play here tonight, despite – The fact that Wendell Carter is like, okay, at defending in the post, but I mean, he's not going to be assigned to Zion. Uh, He should be having a pretty easy go of it here. 